So I have a basket here that was filled with, um, took a trash bag, lined the basket with the trash bag, and then used that sealer that you use on cracks in your home. It's a spray foam type thing, and it expands. So what it does is um, it makes an awesome, like huge piece of styrofoam. So you can just like stick things in it. Good morning, Wendy. So I thought we'd have her sitting in the pumpkin patch and then have a sign here and then decorate around it. There is another way that we can do this too. And let me grab another another scarecrow girl. I thought she would even do nice sitting at the bottom of this oval wreath too. What do you think? So I can do it either way, tabletop or go ahead. Let me turn the sound down. I got my sound up on here. Let me grab it. There we go. So there's two ways we can do her. We can do her in the basket, or she is, isn't she? I have extra, as always, when I order, I order extra. She's $8 plus shipping, very light. I wouldn't recommend putting her outside because I just don't feel that she, she would do well out in the weather. It, it, if you sprayed her, maybe she would. So that's why I thought I'd do her in an arrangement first. Um, all right, so we got lots of things to choose from. We've got a white pumpkin. We got different kinds of acorns. I've got little ones. I've got leaves. I've got sunflowers. I've got wheat. All kinds of wheat, more sunflowers. Um, this is also called a hops bush. I've got that. Different um, pumpkins. There's a, a small orange one. And then I've got this. It's just um, grass. Okay. I was originally, I started making some fabric pumpkins. And I was going to originally put these in there but I'm not sure that they go with it. Thank you, Cecilia. And when I, how I made these, I just took a tubular piece of fabric, stuffed it, closed the end, closed the other end, and then if you can see on this one probably better, I just wrapped this string. I kept weaving it through with a needle and tightening it. So it creates like that puffy effect. So I had those, but I don't, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure I like them on here. Maybe it's just the colors that I'm not feeling it. So I decided to ditch those and just go with florals and stuff here. I even found this at the Dollar Tree. It's a little succulent, but it's the colors of the fall. So I'm going to actually add that in here because I thought, well, that's something that has all the colors in it. It comes in a little pot sitting in styrofoam. I'm sure I can use the pot for something else, but okay. And I kind of like these because this pumpkin is wrapped and so are these. So I thought I would add some of those in. Um, I like this pumpkin too. Puts a different color in there. So find my cutters here. And I'm not seeing all the comments, so if I don't see you, keep asking. And make sure you um, like and follow this page. Many Chat is a, a, like a, 
an animated system that you guys have subscribed to and after today we can no longer use it on Facebook so it's going away so if you want to know when I'm live you need to be following me so you get a message through Facebook otherwise you won't get a message So I'm just putting these all around here. I kind of like these. Maybe I'll put this in the front because this is flat. So I'll put that in the front and then I'll put the other ones around it. But see how this, this foam is just really nice. Everything just sits in it really good. Now I got Tag sticking to me. Okay. I also have some of these too. And these I got some pickfall leaves are called, but they have these little ornamental balls in there that look kind of cool. So I'm not sure where I want these yet. It actually doesn't look bad there, but closer. Come on. When you use this foam, you have to try and use it up while you're working with it because the thing clogs pretty easy. So um, you want to fill a bunch of containers all at once and use it all up. trying to work on it but still allow you to see it and that's a little hard I made this uh, sign on the Cricut well my cut and scan and then I added um, a stake to it now I need to put another one of those in there I had it here Where did it go? Let's see. I like this because I think this will give me more height in the back that I'm looking for. I'm going to cut a little bit off of it. And I also might put some of this in it. I found this today in my travels. It's just sticks. Like, I'm sure somebody would have used it for an arrangement. I got it at my repurpose store. And I thought, wow, these would be awesome just to stick in different places. Just give it a little more texture. I could be done here, but I think we want to add a big sunflower there, and then let's see, add a few pieces of this wheat. down in here. I don't want to hide the sign, yet I wanted some different textures in there. I have leaves here, but 
I like that these acorns looked true to size. So I'm gonna cut a few of those off with some leaves attached. This might be a little hard. I had some picks. Actually, I'm just going to stick some wire to it because I can't find the picks. I had them. I have the kind that you make your own if you don't have a pick. Aw, thanks, Lori. Hope you're feeling better, babe. Get this up, this over. Hope you made it to Wreath Makers Live okay. And that you're not overdoing it and that you're taking it easy. Okay, this needs a pick for sure because this is not working. And I have some over here. they're not where you want them to be so what I will do that's okay I will attach it to something else and use the that to go into the now I'm thinking I think I want another small orange pumpkin instead of a white one complete it. So what I can do is glue it to the bottom of that to get it to stay for me when I put it in place. There. This is an oak leaf, so now I don't know, I think I want to put more of this in there on this side. I thought about putting some flowers in there, but I'm not sure. I think these, these are beautiful, but I just think they're too big, so. going to go with more of this. To balance it some. And then I'm going to go with a few more of those. The hops. See how easy it is with this foam underneath? I still think I need like something right there. Maybe that's where I can put one of these coming out the top. Like right about there. Yep. That's what I need. And I'm thinking this might not be big enough. So, I have some leftover 
picks from flowers here. As Lori always told us to hold on to them. So I do. When I cut the flowers off, I save them. So what I will do is I will sunflowers are pretty tall so I will wrap some wire around here to hold this in place what white box are you talking about Donna Hi, Bobby. Bobby's my computer programmer, AKA Puppy Mom. Okay. There, that's gonna give me the height I want and allow me to stick it down in this add a few more of these little pieces no I did not but I did go and you're right it was a mess Bobby and they didn't have any um, Halloween stuff out yet so I went to the one in South Side because I just didn't think I had time otherwise to be running around. Okay, how's it looking so far? I have some cattails I could even add in here too. That would be kind of unique. Does it look like she's sitting in the pumpkin patch? Hi Rachel, welcome. Where in Northeast Pennsylvania are you from? Went right about in there. Thank you, Cecilia. Pittston, really? Oh my gosh, I had a lady come the other day who lives in Pittston and she's buying one of my puppies. But this is this, this um, scarecrow girl. She's all styrofoam, okay, in here. And then this is like, you know, a rattan wrapped um, pumpkin. So all I did was stick a pick up the back here and stick her right in. And when I put her on this grapevine wreath, I can do the same thing. I can just take a little pick of some kind, stick her in here and tie her down. She's flat on the back, which is nice because it would go right against the wall or a door, but I'm not sure for what I want it for, because you've all heard me talking, my aunt lives in a retirement community and they all have apartments. So they want fall wreaths. So I can actually use her in this wreath because see, I don't have to worry about it fitting between a door. They only have one main door into their apartment. So um, this would fit nicely. And I know they just think she's a darling. Um, I actually have four, so I'm using two now, so I'll have two more left. 
All right, how we look so far? Does it look like it needs anything anywhere? I thought, like I said, I thought this little succulent was cute because it had the uh, fall colors and it was flat. So I thought that was nice to stick in the front and start at the front. And then what I thought I'd do is add a nice bow just right here on the corner. But do you feel like there's an empty hole anywhere? I think I want to add one of these sticks up behind here. Um, you know, just a little bit higher than the sunflower. Now this was done with that crack foam that you fill cracks with. This basket, there was a bag put in the basket. You sprayed into the bag, it swelled up and then you just trim it off and cover with moss. And then I have a little sign here that I made on my brother cut and scan that says, um, welcome to our patch. But wouldn't that look nice in a dining room on somebody's server? But I'm, I'm wondering if I need something like right here. Just maybe a different color. Let me see. Like maybe one of these. I think that's a mum. Thank you, Rachel. I'm not too far from Pittston. Is anybody on here going to um, the Wreath Gala in Rochester in September? They just opened it to the public, so I guess that means they have more room available. I'm going. Scott from Waterman's Loft is going to be there. Um, Lori from um, Unique in the Creek is going to be there. There. I just gave it another little pop of color in there. And I feel that's what it needed. This one has this color and this color, so I'm going to stick that down right in there. I think that'll look good. I have a supplier that I got her from, Cecilia. So when I order, you have to order like, you know, in quantities of six, 12, 24. So I actually got a box of Scarecrow Girls. So there. Pull these out. So they show. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. I know <laughs> I'm going to take pictures of it. I'll probably be messing around with it. But now we'll make a little bow right, right here. Okay. So I did pick out a few colors. I'm not sure. I think I changed my mind on the orange. Because that to me is just too bright for right here. So I just want something basic for right there. Um, maybe it would be better with a narrow tan, like, or just this one, or even this one. One of those. I'm just going to go freehand with this. 
because like I said, I don't want it too big. I don't want it to take away from. I just want to give it a little pop. Put this in my broken Bodabra. Then I may just stick with that one. I think this one. And then maybe I'll just add a little punch of this on top. And here's I don't know if y'all saw this in the beginning. Here's the pumpkins I just got finished making. They have to have a top put on them yet. But I started making pumpkins. I have this color that I'm gonna be making too. Um, went to my repurpose store today and I found some men's shirts that I'm going to cut up and make into pumpkins. And they're absolutely gorgeous. See, I don't know. I think, I think I need to go with the white. Yeah, give it like that farmhouse kind of feel. comments are going kind of up and down here. I think I saw Jean was on, but I didn't say hi, Jean, hi. Thank you, Wendy. Let's see. That's the one I want to use. And don't forget, mini chat is not working after today. In fact, it didn't work to notify everybody. So if you haven't already liked my page and hit the following button, you need to do that or you won't be notified at all. Now you won't get a message ahead of time. You'll just get a message when I'm on. So, ah, ew, that doesn't look good. Um, I think I know what would look better. Maybe if I just add this brown. What do you think of the brown with that? What's everybody's opinion? Or, I know, I will add the, red, the, the orange, the solid orange here, and then I'll add that on top. And that will make it. because I'm burying it in between. So I think it will give the effect that I'm trying to create. I mean the look, not the effect. It was a long day yesterday. And today's turning out to be even longer. And I got three people fighting over one puppy. So I'm about ready to lose it. Yes. That's what it needed. But I'm thinking... 
I'm only going to do like a bubble. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I had some real pretty leaf ribbon I could have used, but I'm kind of liking this better. This might need to come up just a little, well, no, I've got my triangle there, so I may just put a little green right up in here or get this moved up a little more. Yeah, that's what that needs there. And then this needs to go down a little. I don't want to bury my sign. All right. Now. And next week, I will have a Halloween fall arrangement that will take you in to both. Very simple. That's if my husband can get it cut out. He's feeling a little intimidated with the design I chose. So. Geez, we may even have time to do the wreath, too. So we'll have her in two different ways. And my aunt will be thrilled because she just says, keep working, keep working. Get me some made up. Because she's, I guess, telling everybody there that I'm making them. She's so sweet. I just think my lucky stars I have her. Because I lost my mom in August. It'll be three years. And it's been hard. But just knowing she's there cheering me on. Helping me and being there for me when I need her. It's just I feel like I still have my mom. So what I did was I took one of my pieces that I had extra and I cut it and put it in back of the um, zip tie. I know I have those picks but I can't find them. I rearranged my room and straightened everything up and now I can't find half the stuff. I just want to get that as tight as possible so we'll keep it in there. There we go. Now I don't need the wire. And we're sold out of the witch hats. Anita, if you're on here, I just found a box, so you'll be getting your invoice shortly. I still have a few of the witch legs left. I'm wondering if I needed some green in here. Well, I can always add it, right? Let's do our dovetails. So anybody on here who can remind me the name of that that foam stuff, is it crack sealer or? Okay. 
Okay. And we have to turn it around. Sorry, folks, so I can see what I'm doing. I don't know about that color, orange. I'm thinking... Might have been better off with this red. Yep. Okay. We're going to take it apart. Remove the orange and add the red. No problemo, because we used a zip tie. So, we just remove those two layers. Put this back in here. Now we're gonna get what I'm looking for. Because believe it or not, you probably can't see it, but this red is in the um, plaid ribbon in the back. So that's what I needed. That's what I wanted. The orange was nice, but it was just too much. Um, it would even look good with green instead of this red. But this red is like a a fall red, like a burgundy. That's what it needed. And this should pop. Yeah. Yep. All right. Zip tie. And I think I'm going to go with a smaller zip tie this time because that one really stood out. The smaller zip tie will disguise it better and hopefully will hold the, the green hook better too. Made like a shepherd's hook out of a flower stem, a wired flower stem. Now again, I could add a green in here too. That's what I wanted. Let's see if I can get this in here where I want it. I think I will 
roll the red. I still want some of the basket to show. I use a piece of PVC pipe. PVC pipe is a girl's best friend. Then I got a little pop of glitter there, which is what I wanted. And I could have used this too in the back. And now I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep the plaid or not. But for now, it's going to stay. But I think the leaf one would have been nice too in the back. Because then I have a pattern, a pattern, a pattern, and a, and a solid. So. All right. How's that? Any questions? Any comments? Gaps and cracks. Thank you, Rachel. That's the name of the stuff. Back at you, Marty. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Jean. Thanks, Cecilia. And Donna. All right, we'll just put that back here. And then let's see if we can work on this a little bit. Just move some of the ribbon out of the way. What I had to do, because she came packed, I had to just comb out her hair a little bit. This one was in the bottom of the box, so she's kind of frizzed out. I just fluffed it out. All right, then we will have to use one of these. And what I did was I just snipped off a little part of her pants because the pants are kind of thick and it was hard to get the pick in there so you have to cut a hole through the pants a little glue on this stick there's a big piece of styrofoam up the back so see she just gets a Sorry about that, cutie. She just gets a stick up the butt. There. And it's just enough sticking out that I can glue it into the bottom of the wreath and attach her to the wreath. So what I may have to do is get out my wreath easel so I can hang her on there. Okay, 
then we're going to glue her bottom of her stick. We're going to glue it right into the wreath. Okay. Now I may have to take some wire and just kind of attach it down to the side a little bit, although she is sitting pretty good in there. Now what I wanted to do with this one, I wanted to create my floral at the top. I'm not sure where my bow is going to go though. So let's just dry place and see where I want to take it from there. I'm using pretty much the same flowers because she has some awesome colors in her outfit. Said, I'm just dry placing to see if this is where I want to leave it. I could even these leaves are like on a, a stick like um, rope which makes a nice topper for the uh, fabric pumpkins I made. Let's just play with this a little more. Well, I guess it would help take the price tag off, wouldn't it? There we go. if you when you're purchasing florals let me show you what the full one looks like try to when you're purchasing purchase one that has lots of different see we've got sticks in here we've got sunflowers we've got some mums just lots of different pieces because you could just take this one piece and make an entire wreath out of it. And you wouldn't need to buy other stuff. So this one, this whole bunch, $4.38. That came from Sims. liking that one down. Not liking it that way either. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of blends with the uh, wreath. That's why I'm not liking it. So, we need to go to something different. Now I have these straw-like pieces. I think I'll stick some of those in there. And you don't have to conform to your wreath. 
you can go outside of the wreath. Again, I'll glue all this when I'm done. All right. I think I know what I want to put in there. Nope, not liking that either. All right. Nope, I like the lighter. So, let me just go through my bag again. like that but that color is so close to what I already have on there so have these these are a little bit So I may use some of that up here near the yellow sunflowers. And I could take this apart and add some of this in between, right? So we want that. Nope, not feeling it with that. All right, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. Some of that, nope. All right, and there's some of this. It's uh, that one that's called Mini Flower with Grass. So I definitely want to add those textures in. So I'm going to take these apart. This is Willow. These are all Dollar Tree. This one was the Hop Bush. I have hops in plastic, but this looked this looked um, this looked more real to me than the plastic ones I had. Whoops! Very easy to put back on. I always try to bring the tips, the leaf up to the flower before I cut it. It hides the base of the flower. And see, I'll go ahead and save this in case I need a pick for later. All right, so I got some of those. Let's trim off some of this. I can save that too. All right, let's start placing some green. So I think the green is gonna look nice against the grapevine. It also matches our collar. Doesn't she? All right. So now I have this. I want to. I want to get this against the sunflower. I'm going to pull some of that out. Loving it. Now 
No. I think I want that to go out. There we go. One more. Why not? There we go. Now this was also from the Dollar Tree. This is mini flower with grass. Sorry, I'm not watching the comments. If you have any, don't hesitate to keep asking until I see it. And now my phone's buried, <laughs> so I can't see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The sticky label does not want to come off. Being very stubborn. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that came off of the one I was pulling. So let's put it back on. here. Another Those, these are those styrofoam little ball-like ornamental pieces, and if this was an outdoor wreath, I wouldn't be using them because you know what happens when the water gets to them. They just swell up, but because this is an indoor wreath, yeah, I'm going to use it. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I want to put in here. I still could use some of these leaves. Testing to see if this is where. Nope. Still needs a little something. Okay. I'm thinking a pumpkin. Might be cute up here. Something else to make it pop. Pumpkin is shedding there. And then I still have I could add I know it's in the pile 
just some smaller um, sunflowers. So then I have a few different sizes. No, that's too big. That's not what I'm what I'm looking for. So just look one more place here. Found these today on my travels, and it's like a version of both flowers that are on here. So, that might work. Doesn't look right there. Does look good up there. Need something with a little more yellow. So let me take one more look. Like this because that's okay. I want to bring this up a little because I want to break up these two colors a little bit. This has all kinds of little stuff on it. Acorns, little pumpkins. It might be just yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's what she needed. It's 
smaller than the other pieces and it adds a little pop. Nope. Oop. A pumpkin aborted ship. Jump ship. these three in. And I don't know if I want to add a bow. kind of like how it's looking without it. There we go. And one more. Thoughts? You too, Rachel. Or maybe. Top that one. I'm just gonna freehand a bow here and see if see if I want it or not. I don't know, I don't think it needs a bow. Or maybe. Maybe just one of those on either side in the upward position. mess here. Sorry about that. have it against solid I think that's a keeper I'll just glue everything in place she's really decked out with a lot of flowers sitting in there pretty nice. You may just leave that off at the bottom. And I think that's good enough. 
still wanted some of this to show, so I'm liking it. Okay, I think we're done for today. Got a pretty good jump on things, so we're good. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and follow if you want to be notified when I go live since mini chat will no longer be allowed to notify you. We'll see what um, Facebook comes up with. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. I need... Uh, we'll talk soon, I'm sure. Everybody's fighting over little Mr. Tanner. So, we'll see what happens. Still my decision, right? All right, everybody, you have a good evening. And thanks for stopping. I really appreciate it. Good night.